So if the Amphicar had a road going version, a purely road going version, I guess this would be it. <laughs> That's the best way that I can describe this. It's a Renault Caravelle, which I thought Caravelle was a trim of the Volkswagen camper van, but apparently it is an actual model of car. It is right hand drive. So this is apparently been quite extensively restored over the past 40 years, because I imagine finding bits for these are near impossible. But, I mean, like jokes aside about the styling, it's really cool to see. It, it does really just remind me of the Amphicar, especially in its uh, overall proportion. Fashion in the limousine. This is a Renault 25, which I only knew because I looked at the back. Limousine from 1987. It is uh, quite the opulent and yet it is still a manual gearbox. So clearly the, it, if your chauffeur likes to get a bit of a, a shift on, then they, they too can drive the Renault 25 limousine. But check this out next to it. It's a Renault 11, I think. And I, uh, I only know of these at all. Yeah, so I only know of these at all because of the Bond film, uh, A View to a Kill. B Reg in '84, and check out the wheels. Oh, I love those wheels. And this colours go as well. It's sort of like salmony, uh, almost like a pinky orange. I love that colour. Still quite a basic model though. And look at how. No, I'm just laughing at the, uh, the canvas up posture. <laughs> It is literally like a picnic chair. That's a sunroof though. I like this a lot. So we have a Lomax here. So, so yeah, these are based on a 2CV from memory because uh, I recognise the wheels, but they are three wheelers. That's quite funky. CX, now we're talking. Oh yes, I, I like these a lot. Oh, check out the seats. Check out that interior. Oh. As I say, it's GT. That is lovely. I don't know why, because like, I don't particularly care for the BX, but I love the CX and I can't really work out why. I think the CX has a bit more presence, maybe, because it's a bigger car. I don't know. I had to film this. It's a Renault, well, Aventine, we would say, but I think the official pronunciation is uh, Aventine. It's even in the best color as well, like the, the press color blue that they were all showed in all of the press photos in, with a black leather interior and it's a manual, but it's big. And it's even got the full sunroof as well. But the big question is, is it the 3 litre V6? Or, mm, no, I, it's probably a diesel or the 2 litre, but even so. Oh, yes. So bonkers. Uh, I mean, like, this was never going to sell well, was it? But still, I don't care, because it's awesome. You've even got a, a, a cuddly toy on the back seat. Love it. Green tomato <laughs> chutney. <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry. That's right. So yes, this is a matte finish 2CV that I've seen a few times at the uh, Sheer Hill Climb, demonstrating the suspension travel. And people have been writing all sorts of things on it, like Scarlet was here, and and I still underlined want want one of my own. And then we've got Je ne regrette, oh, that, that song, the Je ne regrette rien. And Mark 1 Clio E6 for sale. <laughs> oh, uh, apparently I was here, but I didn't write that. Huh. So check this out, we have a Citroen DS Estate. Well, I think these are called the Safari. It is long, I think. I think my friend said that these are these are about five meters long. So that's longer than my Lexus in a car that's nearly what 60 years old now, or 50. And I 
I actually prefer the styling of these to the normal DS. I think the the estate bat works really well with it. And this colour's great as well, but Citroen DS Safari. Hell yes. It's a motor car. Oh finally. Oh well, is that a turbo? Oh yeah. But I'm more interested in these. And I mean check out the back of this one. It has a surfboard on it. Yeah, you don't. 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 This has a surfboard on it, and it's it is a drop top.